everyone. It's Monday at the Mystical Magical Mansion, and it is another edition tour update to what's happening here at our big old house. Um, I am so excited and overwhelmed and thrilled with all of the questions and the connections and everything that we've been um, just experiencing since I started doing this. Monday tour and it's really, it's just been so fun. And if for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, um, my name is Kim Isherwood. We moved into this house uh, just about seven months ago and we bought an old mansion here in Omaha, Nebraska that is just absolutely lovely and everything about it feels magic and fantastic. And each week I share a tour of what's going on at the house or update you on some projects that we're working on. And I wanted to answer a couple of questions that I get over and over and over. So how many bathrooms does your house have? We have six and there actually was seven. One was removed from the basement and then there's actually a bathroom in the carriage house that's non-functioning, but there's some um, pieces and parts out there. And maybe someday when we finally get a lot of the things done here in the house, we will move to the outside. Um, and work on the bathroom in the carriage house. But I thought I would give you a look at some of the bathrooms here, some of the six that we have, and show you the work and the progress that's going on with them. So first of all, and most importantly, where I probably spend the most of my time is in the master bathroom. So as you can see, it's got beautiful porcelain tile. The tile on the walls is all original. It has been here since 1910 when the bathroom was first put in big sunny windows, and then there's the gorgeous radiators, which I just think are a work of art everywhere, in every room. Um, the windows, I don't have any curtains up yet. We just have blinds at the moment. That is a down the road project. The shower, as you can see, had to be converted. It was originally just a bathtub. It is not a clawfoot, but it's a big, hefty, monstrous um, tub. And so they, created a plumbing system and then a rack from the ceiling to hold the shower and the shower curtain. Um, the walls are painted and there is not tile all the way up, so that's why you have to have the surround shower curtain, which is not great, I don't love it, but you have to deal with what works. But when we moved in, one of the things that was super important to me was to be able to take a proper bath. And this bathtub definitely allows that. Um, it is, it's big, it's a monster, and it's very deep, and yes, you can fill it up with lots of bubbles. Um, the original plumbing is all still here, which I find absolutely amazing, and all of these silver pipes. It's just crazy. And then if you look up onto the wall, we still have the glass bars. The um, medicine cabinet is actually the original medicine chest that was here. The former owners took those out and had them um, professionally painted, stripped and painted, which I think is absolutely remarkable. These little lights are up to, um, new. They're not, they're not old. So here's a couple more for of the glass towel bars, which are just beautiful, gorgeous antiques. And then something else really special about this, I'm gonna whip around again. Um, the pedestal sink. So as you can see, the pedestal sink is old, very much intact, very much um, at a lower level. So for a short person, it's great. For a tall person, not so great. It does have a few chips and nips and little, you know, bits of wear and tear in it. And then these two pieces are also very, very old. So there's a soap dish. Just look at that. I mean, just look at how pretty the soap dish is, that detail in there. It's very, very old, probably original. And then this is the toothbrush holder, which I don't know when this would have been added, but, or if it's original as well, but it's got a little cup there for your cup and then the toothbrush holder, but just so much character, all these fun little things about this room that I just love. And then here is also another big cupboard which is like a big medicine chest cabinet. And as we open this, it's actually remarkably got a lot of storage in it. It's um, where I keep my makeup and all the different things. And then of course, my container of bewitching body powder. Like who doesn't have that? We all need that, right? 
Okay, so then we come around. And again, you can still see the porcelain goes all the way around. Um, there's a little hook here for your robes and your clothing. Still an old, look at how just interesting these old hooks are. I just think they're beautiful. The heavy old door is gigantic and um, still has the crystal doorknob. And then one of the most fabulous parts of this room is the wallpaper. So if you look at this wallpaper pattern, it is probably from the research that I've done from the 30s or the 40s, which would make sense because um, one of the families moved in 19, I believe it was 28 or 38. And I'm guessing like a lot of families or women, they came in and wanted to update and make some changes, but this wallpaper was actually under a layer of mud. So I believe as the previous owners to us discovered this while scraping and decided to take that little layer off and just leave this old wallpaper exposed, which I think is really, at first I didn't fall badly in love with it, but now I really like it. I really, really like it. It's got um, sort of a tealy blue and pink and white um, and then just sort of a beige background. And yes, there are some spots where there were water stains here, but they were just, we're just calling that a little bit of a character situation. So um, we're gonna go ahead and leave that. When we moved in, the trim was painted yellow, as well as the wood around the medicine cabinet. And then the walls were white. So I brought in just this tranquil blue, it's called Rainwashed, which is the blue that I had in our house out of the lake. And I really love this color. And um, I take a good bath in here on a very regular basis because it is just so relaxing and calming. And my daughter gave me the little board to go across the tub to hold your soaps and your candles and perhaps a glass of wine if you'd like to. Um, the bathtub itself, I actually did a little research. These were very modern for 1910. So this family being a wealthy family wanted to put the modern amenities in. And so instead of a claw foot, this tub would have been put in and this was a very big deal. So it would be probably like our version of adding a jetted tub or a really modern tub um, comparing to today. And then this, we still have all of the hexagon tile, which is kind of shadowy here in the light, so it's not quite that dirty, but they're all really in amazingly good shape. Um, as I get closer, you can see there's a little hairline crack where the house is settled and things kind of get bumped and scraped around over the years. And there probably was carpet over this at one point, which is crazy to think about, but probably true. So this is our master bathroom. And again, someplace that I spend a lot of time in and I absolutely love, love, love this room. So let's head down the hall out of the master area. And then this is a guest bathroom, which is almost a sort of a mirror image of the bathroom we were just in. So again, the nice big monstrous tub. We have all the hexagon tiles. This sink, this pedestal sink is not an original sink. It has been um, updated at some point in time, but it has been done in a style that's very true to uh, the period. It's a really nice pedestal sink. But again, this room still has all of that original, original hardware, all of these pipes and everything. I mean, it's just fabulous that this stuff is still intact and still works. Probably a nightmare if we have to repair it at some point in time. But again, this little apparatus was added so that you can take a shower curtain up and hang a shower curtain. And again, this is the um, big window that looks outside and curtains will be added. I did paint this room rainwashed as well. It feels a little simple at the moment to me. Here's a nice photo. Again, all that perfect porcelain tile. And another adorable little cabinet. I'll turn on these lights just so we can maybe see a little better. These sconces, these lights are not original, not old, they've been updated but um, very true to the period. And like the room next door, our room, there is a pearl button that does not work. It is not functioning. And if we wanted to make that functional, we'd have to remove 
wiring down to here and go through the tile and I just don't think any of us have the heart to do that. So we'll hold off for that for right now. So that is another one of our bathrooms upstairs. So thank you everyone for going on my bathroom journey with me. After sitting down and trying to edit the bathroom videos, I've discovered that I'm extremely passionate about my bathrooms, clearly because this video got way, way, way too long, like ridiculously long. So I'm going to edit it and bring it down to two videos, one posted today and one on Thursday. I will give you the second half of the bathroom story. So I'll just give you our bathroom, the guest bathroom today, and then I'll give you the rest of them on Thursday because who needs to be in my bathroom that long, right? I don't know. Do you guys want to hang out with me? Maybe we should run a bath and talk. Anywho, I will post on Thursday. I'll give you the rest of it. And hopefully by then we will have some blossoming peonies in the flower beds that I can share with you and um, some other things that have happened during the week. So I hope you do something very unapologetically fancy. Set your table, get out your good dishes, use your nice silverware, drink your good tea, have a cake, whatever it is that you need to do, but let yourself feel unapologetically fancy this week. And thank you all for sharing this journey with me and this home. And I hope you feel this wonderful sense of connection and joy that this house brings to so many. And I hope some of you can be here in person at some point to share it with me live because that is the dream is for this to be a magical wonderful gathering place so have a great week i will see you on thursday in the next video and stay well and i will see you then bye